Hey everyone, this is Dave from Arceus Creative, here to talk through one of the lesser known but really cool features in Premiere, duplicate frame markers. Best way to get started is to go ahead and enable them. Hit this little wrench on the left hand side of the timeline, go down to show duplicate frame markers and go ahead and click that on. So to demonstrate how they work, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate some of the media on this timeline. I'm going to select all of this and to quickly duplicate it, I'm going to hold down option click and drag this media, let go of the cursor and then option. And you'll see that this entire group of media is duplicated over here. Um, it's a little easier and faster than copy and paste. Uh, so you'll see these colored lines and those basically indicate that this media is replicated within this sequence somewhere. Um, all the different colors and stuff just tend to help you figure out which media is duplicated between different sets. So why is this helpful? Let's go ahead and delete the duplicated media. This can be helpful if somehow in your film, let's say uh, one of your audio sources goes offline and it turns out that that one would have really been the best one to be using. Well, what you can do is go ahead and take any one of these layers, it could be all three or just one, uh, copy it, go back to your timeline of the synced footage. In this case, it's a wedding ceremony. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here. And if you notice, uh, the duplicate frame markers show up in every instance that this media was used in its original context. What you can do then is go ahead and use the blade tool and line your cursor up. Maybe helpful to zoom in quite a bit. Line your cursor up here, make sure snapping is enabled, and just cut every instance at the beginning and end of your duplicated media. It may be a bit time consuming and seem pretty meticulous, but it's a lot easier than trying to hand sync or listen to the audio again and pick up on where all of your cuts were, especially if you made quite a few throughout the course of whatever media is missing. Once you've got all of that, go ahead and copy each of the chunks of the duplicated audio. Move back over to your edit and maybe somewhere towards the end, go ahead and paste that in. It's a lot easier if you delete all the spaces between the clips. Take that chunk, copy and paste it back into the section of where the audio was missing. If you've got other sources turned on, you can check and see if the waveforms uh, are lining up and everything looks like it's in sync. Let us know in the comments how you like to utilize duplicate frame markers in your workflow. And as always, please like and subscribe to stay up to date with our newest post-production tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.